Hey, this is literally my first post here. I made this account just to talk about this because I feel like I can't go to anyone else without being judged and told I'm absolutely crazy. Anyway, I, 21F, and my BF, 20 meters, have been together for six and almost a half years, which means we got together very 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 young. We've experienced most first things together like traveling, getting drunk, and sex, obviously back quote. However, we didn't initiate our sex life until 2.5 years into our relationship, because as I've said, we were really young, which was cute, but also created problems in the long run. We basically have no sexual chemistry, because our relationship was never sexual. This resulted in a lot of awkward moments, weird conversations and unsuccessful sex. Once we became adults we began to talk about it more, which improved our sex life slightly, but we are still not compatible. My BF starts talking about some kinks he has, and refers to them as being nasty, and being ashamed of himself. This made me panic slightly, because what on earth, could be so terrible? He's always been the most vanilla person in bed, so I was clueless. After some deep talks I came to realize he was into BDSM and being submissive. I was so relieved. This is a very common kink, and very doable from my part. Really. Now, here's where things start going downhill. Our sex life hasn't changed despite me now knowing what he likes, because he refuses to act on it, almost like he's hiding this part of himself. I've asked to sext multiple times and he always says no, because it makes him awkward and uncomfortable. We also don't exchange pictures or videos for the same reasons. I would rather we did, but obviously I respect him, so I never push it. Last night, however, and for the third time in this relationship, I've caught sexual messages between him and other women. He's literally starting the conversation by asking them to step on his throat. The conversations are never long, maximum of 5 messages exchanged, they never show any intent of meeting up and being physical, and they are only exchanged during the down periods of our relationship. So, I confronted him. He admitted to it backslash back quote, for the third time, and his reasonings are always the same, I can't be like this with you because, even though I'm sexually attracted to you, and I have these kinks, I don't want you to see me in such a degrading and submissive manner, I don't want you to get icky and disgusted and I do this when things are bad in the relationship as an escape. I feel stuck and this makes me feel free and I can be my truest self. He also says he goes for women he doesn't know because he doesn't care about their opinion, even if they think he's disgusting or a pervert. And this is where the problem lays. Because I completely understand where he's coming from, and I understand why he'd behave like that. In the cute type of girl, I can see why he's feel judged and awkward to ask me to step on his throat. I don't think he intends to hurt me, I think he resorts to his dark side when he's trapped, and he's ashamed on showing me that. I just don't know what to do. I've reassured him the last two times this happened. I told him I wouldn't think bad of him, because I'd like to explore that sexual side too. But it's clearly useless. If I stay once again, I give him a green card to keep cheating, and I'll become paranoid and insecure. If I leave, I'll leave behind my best friend and the person I've always loved. He's an insanely good person, with a pure heart. In lost. Help. TD. LR. My BF is sexting other women because he's ashamed, and doesn't want me to judge his kinks. Look, you got together very young and it's very possible he just doesn't have any attraction, but he doesn't want to live without you. Whether he's sexphobic, and sexting is all he's capable of, or if he views you more of a saintly sister now, this is barely a romantic relationship. You don't have sex anyway, why can't you break up and remain friends before his constant cheating makes you resentful? Do you want to have a sexless relationship for the rest of your life? He's an insanely good person, with a pure heart. Except he keeps stringing you along, and blames you for his cheating addiction. I completely agree, and you're most definitely right on what you're saying. I just wanna make it clear that we have sex quite often, and it's pleasurable on both ends. He's just not exploring what he's into with me. This reads like he is only willing to explore his sexual fantasies with women he doesn't respect and that's a very big red flag for me. Plus, good sex is something you should not deny yourself in life. If you guys don't have chemistry, call it now and explore other options. Especially since they've been together for a long time. 
you'd think with that amount of time together that they would have been able to work through the awkwardness of being new to six and get into a rhythm that works with both of them. You can only give someone so much time before you realize you're just not compatible. We basically have no sexual chemistry because our relationship was never sexual. This resulted in a lot of awkward moments, weird conversations and unsuccessful sex. Once we became adults we began to talk about it more, which improved our sex life slightly, but we are still not compatible. I think you are seriously missing the forest for the trees. The current situation with the sexting is fundamentally a symptom of this much much larger problem that you identity yourself in the op. You guys have no sexual chemistry. In an adult relationship, that's a fundamental compatibility issue that should probably lead to a breakup sooner rather than later. It sounds like you and 20 meters may have been a good match when you were 14 over 15 and in a chaste high school dating situation, but he has a lot of growing up to do and issues he needs to work through before he's ready to hold down his end of an adult relationship, whereas you are ready to have that kind of relationship. You can decide you're okay with non-monogamy if you want. From what I understand that requires a lot of communication, so he'd have to get better at expressing that. Or if you're not comfortable with the outside sexting and you want to continue the relationship, have you considered role play? If you develop a character you can play who's in line with his sexual fantasies and vice versa, it might help him explore that side without changing how he sees you. One thing that helped my man and I get over the awkwardness in our sex life was when we both decided to just embody the roles and desires we wanted. So your man wants his throat stepped on. Next time you initiate six, be dominant without hesitation, and if he still seems a little hesitant just push through and embody the role. He might be a little hesitant because he's not used to seeing you that way, but he's already expressed it's what he wants sexually, he just wants you to be okay with it. Best of luck. This relationship has run its course at the very least. He's cheating and putting the blame on you. He can't act on his own actions because he doesn't want to disgust you, even though you said you would try. No that's not how it works. He's gaslighting you to make you believe all his cheating, it's probably been physical cheating too, is all on you. You need to decide if you want to continue dealing with his cheating because he won't stop or if you want to live your life without this on your shoulders. Part of me wonders if Op is actually the guy in this story and is trying to find justification or feel better about himself. So you're willing to be cheated on if the excuse is good enough. That makes me sad for you. Don't stay with a cheater. Translation. He thinks you're a complete idiot and has zero respect for you and you're proving him right by going along with his bullshit explanation. Please explain to me how cheating on you and blaming you for it makes him a good person. He is definitely in the wrong and using this as an excuse. Sexting during any point in the relationship, whether it's up or down is unacceptable. You need to put your foot down and tell him that his actions are disrespectful. If he feels like he can't be himself around you in a sexual manner then he can leave. He's not even giving you the opportunity to actually explore his sexual interest and that's on him. Sexting during any point in the relationship, whether it's up or down is unacceptable. Clearly there are caveats, but I'm not sure if they apply here. That being said, I think Op needs to decide if that's the type of relationship she's comfortable with or not. I get the feeling it isn't. So he's playing dumb and gaslighting you into thinking he's not in the wrong? There is not excuse for cheating. That's why it's called cheating. Sexual incompatibility is a huge thing and it can even cause a marriage to break down. I feel you should reconsider the whole relationship. Please stop calling everything gaslighting. Christ this sight sometimes. He's cheating and had cheated in the past this isn't excusable. You've been so open and willing with his kinks. You want to try to give him what he wants and he instead seeks it out with other women strangers that he apparently sometimes makes uncomfortable too. This isn't a good guy. Opus is betraying you again and he will continue to betray you. I know you've been together for a long time, but you deserve better than someone that thinks they're allowed to cheat on you. There is no excuse for it. He is in the wrong and always will be. This sounds like both of you have outgrown this relationship. You need to have a serious talk, maybe even see a couple's therapist. 
if it's just a sex thing, you may want to approach the idea of an open relationship. His constant cheating though shows he has no interest in being monogamous. If he feels uncomfortable about this topic, it's not because it's psyche. He knows he's cheating. You just need to decide if he really is worth it at this point. If he thinks it's so disturbing then why is he into it? Obviously he doesn't think it's that disturbing because that's something that he enjoys lol I don't understand his logic. Let's simplify. You have no sexual chemistry with your cheating multiple times. Boyfriend. What would you tell your best friend to do in such a situation? Right? He clearly doesn't care about hurting her feelings because he's so willing to easily cheat on her. You could just tell him to stf you and get his pathetic little a asterisk asterisk into the bedroom because you are going to make him beg. And if he doesn't do what Jen is told immediately then you will never touch his pathetic little c at dollar sign and again. That might give him a massive happy surprise. Lol. Seriously this is the answer. Op, idk if it's what you're into, but if you just get into the role and start bossing him around and he realizes you're into it, he'll will probably go with it and wind up really enjoying it. You don't have to have that dynamic in your everyday relationship, but turn it on for foreplay. What do you want? Really, think about your future in a year or two or ten. Because right now as things stand it doesn't sound particularly pleasurable for you. You can go more than one way here. You could tell him that this is unacceptable. That you intended to be his dom and that it turns you on. Then do it if it's true for you. Or you can say I love you but I think it's best if we continued as good friends instead of partners. Or you could say let's open up the relationship. He can experiment with others and so can you. Or but until you make your own decision about what you want you are just being reactive and allowing him to lead the situation. Girl, you have so much more to live for than a man who needs to clearly go to therapy to sort his issues out. You've never been w anyone else, so you haven't experienced a better respectful relationship. Move on, dump him, and live your life, and get someone who wants to be with you and finds you attractive. You've outgrown this loser. You two have zero sexual chemistry and this should have ended years ago. Of course you love him but that's a close friend, not a partner. Even if he didn't cheat on you, I would say leave him. All this being inexperienced and young is nonsense. You either have passion when you're together, even just kissing, or you don't. It's time to move from this friendship that's masquerading as a relationship. I think it's pretty gross that he's okay with messaging other women stuff he thinks is disgusting because he doesn't care how it makes them feel, but because you're cute you're somehow above other women and their comfort. Shows how highly he views women, not... This man is a misogynist. I hate that you're so understanding about his cheating because you deserve so much more than that. Your boyfriend is being selfish by keeping you around which is what I feel like he's doing. He sounds like he's scared to be alone. As someone who was in a similar situation run now before things get too serious and you're stuck with him for life. You have so much ahead of you and I promise you'll meet someone and luck back and realize how shitty this was. Hope everything goes well for you, you deserve a lot better. Telling it to you straight, no bullshit. Either dominate his a asterisk asterisk, because that's what he enjoys, and prove that you get down bad. Or leave his a asterisk asterisk, because you already admitted you aren't compatible. He's already going behind your back to do things. And if you're not okay with it, then you already know what to do. People need to realize love is not enough. It's the core of a relationship, but it is not even close to being enough for one. I mean he's not that good a person if he keeps doing this behind your back when you are so open and willing to work on it. He's young. The way he's acting I wouldn't be surprised if he grew up religious because he has you on a pedestal and other women are not. Like a Madonna opposite of Madonna complex and not willing to talk about sex gives me fundamental Christian vibes or something. Anyway, these are his issues to work on, and not by pretending he loves you and can't bear to defile you by involving you in his kink, so instead he chooses to cheat. That's just some nonsense to justify his bad behavior.